How you doing everybody? Tim here from the Tactical Defender. Today, we're gonna look at the Ibex 35 from VanQuest. This is one of several new backpacks they have on their line of new products. Links as always in the box below. It is a 35 liter pack, extremely well made as is all VanQuest gear. And this bag literally has everything you need and nothing you don't. All right, well, here we have the Ibex 35 in all its glory, and it really is a beautiful pack. Just everything about it, the quality, the way it's designed, uh, you know the people that create it and design it actually use it. Um, that makes a huge difference. So this is, as you can tell, the Coyote Tan. They do have a number of uh, colors available. And uh, really the best way to do it is I like to get up close and personal and show you uh, a lot of the features. And I will try to not leave anything out. You will see a number of VanQuest accessories on and in this pack. Those will be in another review because the VanQuest has recently come out with some really um Nice stuff recently, accessorize, uh, to accessorize your, your gear, your backpacks, and so on. So on the very top, we have a large pocket. There's actually two pockets. I will show you those when I get around to the back of the pack. We do have a hook and loop field, a, hook, a loop here, sewn in loop. You can put any a number of things attached to that. We do have their logo. And down here on the front, you can see we do have some vertical PALS webbing with shock cord and a lock. I have been putting a rain jacket in there. Really light nylon rain coat, and that holds that down really nicely. Here's one of those products there you will see coming up very soon. Great for attaching a tripod. I also have another one on the inside. Great product. We come down here, do have this little bit of this, the Hapalon material here, some tie outs. The outside of the pack is Cordura. It is made up of 1000 denier and 500 denier Cordura. On the inside, we're looking at a 210 ripstop nylon material. Let's come over here to the side. We do have one, two compression straps. Let me undo those. And we do have some uh, carabiners. These are mine for my hammock and or tarp. But we do have their fantastic Hapalon material. Very, very strong. Extremely light. You can add a water bottle, pouches, anything on the outside you wish. We do have YKK zippers. Great zipper pulls also from VanQuest and inverted zipper tracks. I mean, the small little attention to detail, stuff like this right here. I mean, look at that. Just to protect that that much more. I mean, that is just fantastic in, uh, in my book. In a minute, I will lay this down and we will look 
inside all of the pockets. Let's go to the back here. I mean, look at all this padding. Seriously. There is a grab handle there. You have a grab handle here and a grab handle here. So there is three. You know I'm a sucker for grab handles. Adjustable shoulder harness. More Hapalon material. Water bottle keeper right there. You do have a removable or adjustable sternum strap. I just realized it's coming undone on me right there. Same thing on this side. Really nicely padded. Now, up here, I mean, look at this. There is so much padding. Sorry, doing this with one hand. Down the side. Let's get a little better look at that like this. I mean, look at that. There is a backboard and or internal frame. I believe it's a polycarbonate internal frame. Really holds the structure of the pack very well on you. And we do also have, I mean, look at this lumbar padding here. Let me go down here. Look at that. That is so comfortable. The thickness. This is obviously your waist belt. Yes, they are the pull forward design. I know a lot of people really like that, including myself. Now there is something, it feels plastic in here to really keep the rigidity. Again, pull forward design. I didn't know somebody asked me about that. I mean, let's get, look at that. The quality is just absolutely superb. And it is removable. If I didn't already say, it can come off completely. Because if you know me, you know I don't normally wear them. But I've been using it just to test it and keep it on there. Let's quickly look at the bottom here. There's really not a whole lot. To, it's a little dirty because I've been putting it down. Yeah, you can put a number of things attached right there. And then let's go to the other side. Same thing, remember, we have a uh, grab handle. ITW and UTX Duraflex hardware throughout. I already said YKK zippers, inverted zipper tracks. We do have a lot of really great zipper pulls. These up here are lockable. These are really comfortable. No resistance whatsoever. And again, on this side, another large pocket, as is the other side with the Hapalon PALS material to attach more stuff to. Before we lay the pack down and then go inside, and show you all the pockets, I want to show you up here, the very top. So again, I know I already showed these. You do have these zippers here. They are lockable. Grab handle, very nice grab handle, really strong. We do have shoulder strap lifters, right? This is going to pull the pack up to tighten these down real nice. They are sewn in. I mean, this is really great, great quality. Now, in this side pocket, uh, I have a number of things. Again, YKK zippers. Great zipper pulls. I do have my toiletries. I also have a small first aid kit. I also carry a larger one. And I also have another one of VanQuest accessories with my Smith & Wesson m and 9 Compact. As you can tell, they do have the 210 bright orange ripstop material on the inside with a hook and loop field where this accessory connects to very nicely. Yes, my handgun would usually be on my hip, but for demonstration purposes, I put it inside the gun to show, uh, inside the pack to show that. We do down below, I mean, this really goes all the way down here, right to there. It, this is a huge pocket. 
you have some pockets also on the inside there. I like the fact you can operate the zippers one hand. Now on the other side of the pack, uh, I'm just keeping some carabiners there for now. Again, great zippers. And here, again, 210 ripstop material, bright orange. You have that hook and loop feel like you do on the other side. I don't currently have anything there now. Deep down inside, I do have a saw. And I have a couple tent or hammock stakes. And that is really it. Yeah, down in there. And again, it is... It goes deep all the way down to here. On the top of the pack, we have two pockets. One a little bit smaller than the other. I currently have nothing in there because I was putting my camera right there. That goes inside there, nice and safe. And then again, great zipper, zipper pulls. This is what I call my stuff it pocket. I got all kinds of stuff in here. So I have a charging cable. I have an anchor battery for cell phone and or uh, my video camera. More to a party pack. You cannot leave the house with plenty of these. These fire starter pucks I've been using. I actually got a couple in there. I mean, there is a boatload of stuff in here. I do have a number of hanks of paracord. Some ranger bands. Been carrying these for years. Still not using them. Let's see what else? I have a uh, one of these spool tools. Dyneema cord, bank line, ah, what else is in here? Oh yeah, look at that. You have to have one of these with you, huh? Huh? Yeah, I don't go often. I got this. I have a SE fire steel. My rape whistle from Topps Knives. And that really is it. Uh, look at that, huh? That is a huge pocket. That is a huge pocket. I got big, meaty hands. That is a gigantic pocket. Now, if you can see that zipper there, when you open this up, you can get into that pocket from in there. Huh? Is that not beautiful or what? Huge pocket. All right, now I laid the pack down. I did start unzipping the pack already. If you undo all four compression straps, then this can open up nice and big. Look at that. Loads of room. Now, this here, we'll start at this end here. This here is the pocket that you can access from out here, remember? All my stuff there. Do that, okay? So you can access that pocket there. Then you have this semi-transparent pouch. Zipper, again, great zipper pulls, YKK zippers. I do have some glucose tablets in there and off. Uh, bug and tick spray. And then we come down here. So this, let me get this off. There we go. We have this very nice large hook and loop panel. This here is another product from VanQuest. I will be doing a follow-up review uh, of all of the accessories for this pack that can be bought separately and used elsewhere. But I do have a spare magazine. And a Leatherman multi-tool just for demonstration purposes. You can put anything you want there, obviously. Um, this is semi-padded. The whole pack is kind of padded. Uh, so if you have a laptop, which it does hold a 15-inch laptop in there, um, it will be protected. As well as this. This is kind of padded. Uh, so in here, let's see. I do have a 
larger than needed. Also a Van Quest. Uh, this is my trauma kit. I do have tourniquet there. This would be great for the outside. You can put it on there. I mean, this, the possibilities are endless. They really are. I do have my cook kit also. This is in a VanQuest dump pouch. I did a review on this already. It works beautifully. I just reviewed these recently. These are my tree straps. I do have an Eno single nest with me hammock. A little something to drink. I do have extra uh, bank line. Also something to drink. This is uh, also sold by VanQuest. This is my insulin pouch. I am a diabetic, so my blood test kit, syringes, couple bottles of insulin. Um, I mean, I've been using VanQuest pouches for years. Matter of fact, I think I've had VanQuest pouches before I actually had any VanQuest uh, packs or anything of that nature. This here is um, something hanging on there. <coughs> Sorry, this here is extra cables, two very small VanQuest batteries, extra um, batteries, charging cables, SD cards, a lot of cool stuff in there. Now, these are also sold by VanQuest. I will be doing a review on these as well. You see these little color tabs? These kind of tell me what goes in what. Obviously, this is first aid, right? So I put the red loop on there. If for some reason nobody can figure out what that means. This is yellow. Just I know personally yellow is for batteries, cables, SD cards. And the white is for what I could call personal. This is my diabetes kit. Goes everywhere with me. And here we have the inside of the pack. Kind of rigid. It is padded as I mentioned you have a large hook and loop field all the way down on that side as well as another large hook and loop field on this side you do his his that one another one's accessories there again I'll have a demonstration coming uh, video demonstration coming soon you do have the moly air this is also hook and loop you can attach a boatload of stuff in there so if I wanted to not that I want to but I could permanently attach that so it cannot be taken out but that's not how I want that you do have a semi padded sleeve that is the whole length now that will hold one of two things I do believe it is a 15 inch laptop or a 100 ounce water bottle you have your uh, your hook here to hang your water bottle you do have a number of tie downs if you remove this you do have there is your internal frame which is removable I do not suggest removing it because it actually really does make a huge difference all right well look I don't know what else I can share with you The quality, as always, is absolutely superb. Lots of hook and loop throughout, as you can tell. I mean, the options are endless. They really, really are endless. You can keep the bag with nothing attached to it or in it, and it would serve you well. Or you could put a number of things in there, and it will also serve you very well. Well, that is the review of the Ibex 35 from VanQuest. I'm telling you, it is an extremely comfortable backpack. That internal frame really holds the weight. This waist belt, I'm usually not someone that wears waist belts. I have been using this for the testing portion of uh, this review, and it's extremely comfortable, and, well, it does its job. Um, I want to close out this video by saying one thing. I test a lot of gear. I have a lot of soft goods, 
pouches, packs, and bags that come through my channel. There are times I get a product that I like, I really like, I like the features, I like the way it wears on me, how it carries, the quality, and most often the price. But then they come out with a year later, two years, two years later, a newer version, what they think is a more updated, better version. And quite honestly, for me personally, it's not. Very often I'll get something, I'm like, why? Like, like you took something that was great and you changed it and now it's not so great. Does it do its job? Absolutely. This is no BS. VanQuest, for some reason, somehow, whenever they come out with a newer product, a newer version, it is always dead on better than the previous version. And that's no lie. Um, my man bag, every one of my packs, every one of my pouches, whenever they make changes and they remove something or add something, when I get it, I'm always like, oh, I hope, I hope they, you know, and it is perfect every single time. When I think they can't improve on a product, on a backpack, they do. And then I'm not just saying that for Van Course, that is the truth. Whenever I get a latest product, the latest backpack, it is considerably better than the last, even when I thought there's no way they can improve on this without ruining it. VanQuest, I don't know how you do it, but you do it every single time. Thank you for your amazing team, great customer service, very fair pricing, and literally the best quality products on the market, in my opinion. With that, everybody, please be well, stay safe. I really do appreciate you watching my channel, my reviews, and uh, I got a lot more coming soon, especially some more VanQuest products, okay? Be well, stay safe. We'll talk.